it's Jeremy Ward with Ford Realty Services. I'm out here in Marengo, Indiana at Marengo Warehouse Distribution Center. It is one of our new commercial listings. It includes 300 acres of ground and then 58 acres underground of storage facility, which is broken into 13 different warehouses. Each one of them are about 100,000 square foot each. We are not only selling the ground and the warehouse, we are selling the business and all content. One of the things I do want to show you while we're outside today is this property has a huge parking lot for trucks and trucking to come and go. And we have access to the 50 car railroad switch that sits in front of the warehouse off one of the main lines going east and west. I wanted to explain to you guys how this warehouse came about. This was actually a rock quarry operation back in the late 1800s. Had several different uses after that, but the current owners had looked at this and said, you know, what a great idea, what an awesome space to create underground warehousing that will be affordable for our customers and really protected. You know, it's, it's weatherproof, but I kind of wanted to show you how they, they created this. So what you'll see beside me here is a rock pillar. These pillars are square. They're about 60 by 60 square, which hold up the rock above us. What the owner did is he come in uh, between these pillars and he built concrete walls. And then inside the walls, they elevated the floors and poured concrete in order to create docks. So we're gonna take you and show you some of the finished warehouse space, but I just wanna give you an idea of how this was created. Back in warehouse number two, 100,000 square foot of frozen warehouse. As you can see, there's a lot of frozen goods in here. They are able to keep this frozen warehouse at about 12 degrees. And if there was a power loss, that's not a problem. They were able to go without power for two weeks and they only lost about five to six degrees because these walls are limestone and they've been cold and frozen so long, they're frozen in about six foot deep. So that's just another benefit of Marengo Warehouse. All right, we're standing here in another 100,000 square foot warehouse, which is currently being leased for emergency management food. These are commercial meals for different states. I think you'll see around me most of these for the state of Texas. So this is where they've contracted to store their emergency meal plans. And this warehouse, again, is 100,000 square foot of racked meals in case there's an emergency. So we, the so Marengo Warehouse stores these for several different states, but the area we're in now, it looks like Texas has got a lot of mills here. All right, this is an example of a finished warehouse that does not have racking in it yet. But again, you can see the large pillars that support our, our ceilings and all the open space that you can put racks and storage in. Concrete floors are already laid, everything's ready to go. But I just wanted to show you an example of a warehouse that wasn't full and that can be totally filled up with product. Uh, this warehouse is currently uh, empty, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how the trucks load into the warehouse. Obviously you got a dock here, so the semis will pull pull in back up to the dock and then the forklifts would load them with their product from here. I believe there's 72 docks on this warehouse and um, throughout the whole warehouse there's 72 docks. I believe they're eight by 10 doors and most of these dock plates are fairly new. I'm currently in one of the food warehouses and some of the customers require their, their food products to be stored in dehumidified areas, which is above. There's three dehumidifiers, one to my left and one down to the right. 
uh, but they, they do humidify this and keep it at the proper humidity level for their food products. I'm in one of the areas that's undeveloped. There is 58 acres here, which 1.3 million square foot has been developed, but I wanted to give you an idea of what a blank canvas would look like for a potential investor that would want to come in and kind of create something of his own. So you can see behind me is basically what a raw cavern would look like. And it just, so many ideas come to my head that what could be done here. I was talking to one of the crew here and I was like, you know, this would be an awesome place to have an underground campground to come in here and, and make it, uh, put lights in and bring your campers in and hook up because all the facilities are here. But there's just so many things you can do with this space. It's just really the sky's the limit here. We are standing in the engine room at Marengo Warehouse. This is located on the top side of the property. These are the compressors that operate the freezer section within the freezer warehouse space. You'll also notice this large cell tower in the background. This is another cash producing lease for the warehouse. And I just want to take you into the office side of the warehouses and kind of show you what the office space looks like in this building. we've taken you a tour of the warehouse today and we've just showed you just a little bit of this place there's so much room for for growth here people are going to ask me what is all available what is included in this warehouse cell we are selling the entire business all the equipment that goes with it 300 acres of real estate that actually includes a house and two garages and a ton of space there is a cell tower up on top of this warehouse on the real estate that is leased as well there's just a ton of potential here. I'm looking for you to give me a call and we'll talk more about it. It's Jeremy Ward, Ward Realty Services, 812-987-4048. I would love to talk with you a little bit about it and maybe set up a tour where I can come show you the facility.